Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. This video is dedicated to all bird lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. Today we'll discuss, 9, different ways that birdhouses help our environment. Scientists have found that bird populations in North America have declined significantly in past decades. Although certain species are strong, a large majority of bird groups have declined to about 30% since 1970. You might be surprised to know that helping birds is easy, and you can do your part by simply mounting a birdhouse. Yes, birdhouses offer significant benefits to this world in which we live. Birdhouses help birds to survive, and in turn, birds do many good things for us. The nine benefits of having birdhouses, include breeding, soil fertilization, pest control, weed control, seed dispersal, observation, ornithophily, biodiversity, and humans. I'll explain these benefits in detail later. But first, please watch the whole video and then like and subscribe. It will really help us out a lot. I'm sure that you'll enjoy the video, but more importantly, you'll learn all about birdhouse benefits. Indeed, birdhouses play a dynamic role in nature. Anywhere you go in this world, you'll see birds relying on birdhouses for warmth and protection. Altogether, birdhouses help birds to live well and be happy. Without man-made birdhouse structures, the avian kingdom would not be the same. Before we begin, let's examine what a birdhouse is. Basically, a birdhouse is an internal nest compartment which uses a roof, floor, and walls to form a box-shaped house. But it's more than just a house, it's a home for birds. The primary purpose of a birdhouse is to help birds and the environment. And it's easy to do, as anyone can offer a little of their time and effort by mounting a birdhouse somewhere in their local habitat where a mother bird can find it. Examples of birds that will seek a birdhouse to live in are chickadees, wrens, finch, sparrows, robins, dove, titmice, nuthatches, bluebirds, tree swallows, purple martins, woodpeckers, wood ducks, screech owls, and others. Not all of these birds will look for a birdhouse structure that is completely enclosed, some prefer only three walls with an open face section while others might only prefer a platform that is designed to provide a full view in all directions. Purple martins look for structures with multiple units, sometimes referred to as purple martin houses, or apartments. Robins and dove typically look for platform structures, either with or without walls. Some species of ducks look for structures that are designed for nesting, and known as duck boxes. Altogether, Birds have very good instincts that enable them to perceive the safest place to live and raise their young. So let's begin. A birdhouse can help our environment in nine ways. First, breeding. Breeding refers to the activities associated with the mating and reproduction of birds. Breeding activities are easier for birds when they have a safe and warm place to lay their eggs. During mating seasons, there is a large percentage of birds in the world that will search for a birdhouse to raise their young. Time, space, and warmth, is needed for eggs to successfully complete the incubation process. Birdhouses help birds to safely raise their young, and when bird families have a safe place to live, their numbers stay strong. Second, Soil Fertilization Birdhouses help birds to fertilize the soil. How? Birds will use a birdhouse perch to sit and scan the ground below for signs of food. When they see food, they swoop down from the perch to the ground below to forage. During the foraging process, they effectively peck, scratch, and defecate on the surface of the ground, essentially fertilizing the soil. The scratching effect by their claws etches and aerates the soil causing it to become loose and more absorbent. This allows various nutrients and organic debris to mix in with the top soil and create good soil pH. What is soil pH? Basically, soil pH is the measure of acidity to alkalinity percentage in the soil. A good soil pH is in the neutral zone of the pH scale, somewhere between acid 6.5 and alkaline 7.5. 
This makes the soil stable within the neutral zone, and balanced with a good acid to alkaline percentage ratio. Third, Pest Control Insectivorous birds like to eat flies, mosquitoes, ants, spiders, beetles, and other pests. Without birds eating these pests, massive infestations might occur which could potentially devastate our ecosystems. Birds benefit us because of their ability to hold in check the most powerful living species on Earth, which are insects. If left unchecked, insects might be a much bigger problem worldwide. Birds will eat various creeping insects that crawl on the ground. And they will also catch and eat flying bugs from out of the air. Purple martins for example, will feed on a wide variety of flying insects, including flies, grasshoppers, wasps, moths, and mosquitoes. Bluebirds like to eat berries, but also eat insects, including crickets, grasshoppers, and beetles. Predaceous birds such as hawks and owls naturally hunt and eat rodents, effectively keeping rodents in check too. Altogether, insects and rodents are not necessarily bad, but they are sometimes concentrated too heavily in the wrong places, such as city parks, schools, farmlands, and residential yards. Fourth, Weed Control When it comes to doing their part in nature, Birds help to keep weeds under control through the constant ingestion of various parts of a weed plant, including weed seeds, weed blossoms, weed roots, weed leaves, as well as the insects that live on them. Fortunately, there are avian weed consumers willing to work for free when it comes to keeping weed growth in check. Sparrows, jays, finches, cardinals, chickadees, dove, blackbirds, titmice, grosbeaks, towhees, and cowbirds are all birds that like to eat weed seeds and parts of the weed plant. Examples of weed plants they like to eat are chickweed, ragweed, smartweed, bindweed, pigweed, joe pie weed, dandelion, clover, cat's ear, so thistle, foxtail, and lamb's quartas. A number of these weed destroyers also like insects but weed parts are definitely in their diet. Seed eaters not only devour significant amounts of weed seeds, but also destroy weeds when tearing apart various parts of the weed plant to build nests. Not all mother birds build their nests inside of bird houses, some build them on tree branches, and other places in nature, even on the ground. If it were not for avian nest builders, weeds might be a much bigger problem. Weeds have a place in nature too, and are not necessarily a bad plant, but weeds often grow too much in the wrong places. Fifth, Seed Dispersal In the avian kingdom, birds help spread the seeds of good plants, flowers, trees, and grass, causing them to grow in other places. Some plants are dependent on other forms of life for successful seed dispersal and regeneration. How? When seeds are eaten by birds, the outer seed coats are weakened as they pass through the bird's digestive system. Once a seed has passed completely through the digestive tract, it will often be dropped far away from the host plant's location, allowing new plants to regenerate and expand into other areas. This is particularly beneficial in areas of the globe where ecosystems have plants with a limited capacity for long-distance seed dispersal. Dissemination of good seeds also takes place from their claws during the motion of walking, running, hopping and scratching the surface of the ground. These actions stir up seeds from the ground and get blown by the wind, carried through water, and caught in the feathers and hair of other wildlife. Seeds are dispersed over a wider space of land allowing for less crowding among plants and trees. Seeds are also spread when birds peck at food sources such as flowers, blossoms, grass, and fruit. During the pecking process, the seeds get stirred up and then caught up in air currents traveling anywhere from a few feet away to thousands of feet away. Eventually, they fall to the ground, germinate, and grow into new plants. Sixth, Observation and Fact Gathering Providing birds with safe structures to live in allows humans the opportunity to observe and study their behavior. Gathering facts through observation can be performed by anyone, as studying bird behavior is fun and easy. You don't need to be an expert, 
just your backyard, a birdhouse, a pen, something to write on. And that's all. Journals and notebooks used for field notes are great for kids and adults who love birds and want to record information about birds in their local environment. This helps us all to better understand how humans and wildlife can live in harmony together. 7. Ornithophily When considering the most common pollinators, people automatically think of honeybees. And it's true that honeybees play a big role in transporting pollen from one flower to another, but did you know that birds aid in the pollination of plants too? When pollination is carried out by birds, the term used to refer to it is ornithophily. Pollination of flowering plants is common among a few unique bird species, and a few notable avian pollinators are sunbirds and spider hunters, both are relatively small in size with very long bills. Another example of an avian pollinator is the smallest bird in the world, the bee hummingbird. The bee hummingbird is known only to live in Cuba, and is smaller than a regular hummingbird. It measures only about 2 inches long and weighs less than 2 grams. Bee hummingbirds are often mistaken for bees because they are so small. The female builds a nest barely an inch across, and her eggs are only about a quarter of an inch in diameter. By placing a birdhouse somewhere in nature, you are helping avian pollinators to live well and reproduce. Subsequently, more beautiful flowers, blossoms, vines, vegetable plants and fruit trees will grow in your neighborhood, making it a more colorful place to live. Invite avian pollinators to your geographical area by creating a pollinator-friendly habitat in your yard or garden. 8. Biodiversity Birdhouses promote biodiversity in the avian world. There is a wonderful variety of bird life in mountainous regions, lush green valleys, desert areas, waterways, and even arctic regions. Indeed, birds of all kinds are everywhere around the globe. Different types have different abilities, but collectively, all members of the bird kingdom play a part in carrying out what Mother Nature requires of them. What would our world be like without a diverse and colorful array of birds? Bluebirds are good examples, as their blue feathers are bright and beautiful to look at. Bluebirds remind us of the beautiful biodiversity that's all around us, making us appreciate them more. Bluebird numbers declined greatly in the 1900s, but with the help of man-made structures such as bluebird houses, bluebirds have made a substantial recovery. Yes, the avian world is amazing and you can do your part in helping to sustain and promote biodiversity. It's easy. By assisting birds with a safe place to live, you will help keep the outdoors populated with various species of birds. Of the six animal categories belonging to the biological kingdom, Kingdom Animalia, birds are arguably the most diverse. A large number of birds in the world depend on enclosed structures to survive, and anyone can help sustain the wonderful variety of bird life by simply mounting a birdhouse. And finally, ninth, humans. Countless variables make up our world, and not the least of which are humans. Yes, humans are part of the environment too, and can benefit from birdhouses. How? There is satisfaction that comes from creating something made from wood including houses designed for birds and structures designed to help feed them. Consequently, when we perceive the sights and sounds of singing birds, it gives us a feeling that our contributions are helping the environment in which we live. Indeed, people can appreciate birds. Birds have feathers that vary in color, and include every beautiful color of the color spectrum. Their sizes vary as well. Some birds are small while others are very large. The simple act of watching how birds interact with birdhouses makes us happier and makes us live longer. If you liked this video, please share it and like it. You can also leave a comment. Please also visit our website at www.allwoodbirdhouses.com. Thanks for watching.